on behalf of the citizens of the Cedar Valley, Valley City, Valley Mayor and City Council, would like to present this proclamation. <clears throat> May a prayer for Chambers County coming together in prayer, whereas we, as duly elected and appointed leaders of the City of Valley, recognize our civic responsibility to, to, to them, to those whom we serve, and whereas we feel the obligation we have to dutifully fulfill our offices and carry out the function as mayor and council of the City of Valley. And whereas we humbly acknowledge our dependence upon God for wisdom, courage, and power, and upon spiritual and moral support of all people at Chambers County. And in doing so, we urge the support of all people in prayer for their leaders, thus enabling them to direct and serve to the best of their abilities. And if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Now, therefore, my virtue and authority vested in Leonard Ryle as mayor of the city of Valley and the support of the city council, I do hereby proclaim August the 7th, 2020, as day of prayer for Chambers County. We must continue to come together in prayer for Chambers County and our nation. We wish all citizens to join together in praying for our leaders, our nation, and our state as a whole, so that in the right spirit of trust, cooperation, and goodwill, we all may beseech God for the strength and wisdom to make Chambers County a better place in which to live. Signed by Little Ryan, Mayor, Kathy Snowden, Clerk, and Treasurer. I would like to thank Mayor Riley and the entire council. This is 19 years that we have uh, been having the day of prayer for Chambers County. And I like the red bow you have on the outside in front. And because uh, this God was saying that the, the red represents the blood, the blood of Jesus. And this year, because of social distancing and everything, we, uh, we're only having, inviting a few people. It's only the prayer warriors is going to be praying. About five or seven people are going to be praying, and we're going to be in now with social distancing. But we want everybody to pray on that day for the Alabama, everywhere, our nation, the first responders, the medical team, and all that, because this is a pandemic that has hit the whole nation. That is an invisible pandemic that no one can see. And when we thank and praise God for you all allowing me to come for these 19 years. <laughs> 19 years. I remember when you started? I am, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we all changed a lot since then. We have? Yes, but we thank and you know, praise God, like I said, because of the pandemic, uh, we're asking everyone, if you come, to stay in your car. Uh, it'll be about five or seven, and the people that's going to be participating in the prayer, they're going to be wearing the red, which represents the blood, which is the blood of Jesus. So I just want to say thank you all in this. It's going to be uh, at 6 o'clock on August the 7th, and that's uh, 7 o'clock, you all time, 6 o'clock our time, on the uh, east side of the courthouse square. <laughs> 